Hi, Eddie Correa from the CRN Test Center here with a look at the NVIDIA Quadro 5000. This is a pre-production unit that the company sent us uh, in time for the July 27th launch of the product and it performed pretty well. This unit here has 352 CUDA processors inside. So it's, uh, it's got some, uh, some pretty good computing power and it, it performed extremely well compared with its predecessor, the, uh, uh, the Quadro 4800. Uh, it, it, as a matter of fact, with scientific visualization workloads, it more than doubled. In fact, it, it performed 2.6 times faster than the 4800, and it doubled uh, the speed in visualization mock-up uh, of the 4800. Uh, so so um, th this unit is, is quite a, a bit of, uh, of a uh, performance improvement. Uh, as far as heat dissipation, of course, it's got its own fan, like most high-end graphics processors. And it did pump quite a bit of, uh, of degrees out the back uh, uh, exhaust port. We measured about 115 degrees of heat coming out the back after it had been, uh, it had been exercised for about an hour. And um, uh, 138 degrees was the maximum uh, temperature at its hottest point which was on the back right near the, uh, the back uh, processor, uh, <coughs> back of the, of the main bank of processors. Uh, the uh, pricing had not been set at press time, and of course this is a pre-production unit, so CRN can't make a recommendation uh, on the unit, but assuming that it does uh, come out when it's in production as, uh, a as it did in pre-production, uh, this is a very fine product and, uh, and pricing will be fairly reasonable. As, as are most NVIDIA products. Uh, Performance-wise, as far as frames per second, for all you gamers out there, 492 frames per second was the fastest that we could measure this board at, and that was at a 640 by 480 screen resolution. So it's, it's a screamer, it's a smoking unit, it's very fast, like many NVIDIA products, and it would be recommended if this were a production unit.